Salam. Assalamu alaikum. Today we'll learn English grammar of standard 2. Children, today we'll learn about adjectives. Do you know what is adjective? An adjective is a describing word. Describing means giving more detail, explaining about it. An adjective describes a noun. We'll read few sentences. In this way we will understand. He is a tall man. You can see the red highlighted words. If we take out that one, he is a man. It means man is a noun, isn't it? So, when we are explaining about a man, that word is known as adjective. He is a tall man. She is an old woman. It is a small house. This is a pink shirt. In adjectives, we have different types of different kinds. Let's see what are those. Adjectives of color. It is a red dress. We are explaining about color of the dress. Adjective of size. A tiny ant lives in a large house. Here we are explaining about the size of ant and size of house as well. Adjectives of shape. There are there is a square box on a round table. Adjectives of taste. This is a sweet fruit. Adjectives of touch. I need a cup of hot coffee. How will you, feel, how will you know that the coffee is hot? When you touch the cup, isn't it? This is adjectives of touch. Let's do the first main here. Match the adjectives in column A with correct pictures in column B. The first one is already done for you. Tall giraffe. Second one is sharp knife. Square. Where is it? Yes, the B one is square. Third, you have to match to B. Next we have green. What is green? Yes, green leaf. Big elephant. Hot soup. Next main, take the correct pictures that answer these questions. Which one is soft? Yes, the, the first one is done for you. You have to do the remaining. Think wisely, think smartly and then take the correct answer. Okay, let's go to the C main. Third main, look at these pictures. Label the shapes with words from the box. First one is already done for you. Here you have to check the shapes and then write it. Now, now what is the shape of the moon? Yes, it's round. Then star. Star is star itself. You have to check these and then write it. Next main, circle the adjectives and underline the nouns they describe. You have to do both here. You have to circle the adjectives. What are adjectives? Those which explain about noun. The word which explains about noun. So first we will find out which is noun. Then we will see what it is explaining about the noun. The first one is already done for you. The round stool is near the table. Stool is a noun and the explaining about shape of the stool. That is round. The explanation is about the stool. And that word is adjective. Next, mother cuts a big watermelon. So, which is noun here? Yes, watermelon. We have to underline watermelon. Then, what is being explained about watermelon? The size. Yes, how big it is. So, that is adjective. We will circle that. In this way, you can complete D main. Let's go to the next main. Rewrite these sentences with the opposite of underlying words. Use the words in the box. So here you have to be very careful. You just, you need not copy the same word. You have to write the opposite word. The first one is done for you. Jane was very unhappy to see her brother. What is the answer written here? Jane was very happy to see her brother. Unhappy is you're not happy. Then here we have written the opposite of it. The next will be Ali climbed over the high wall. High is very tall, isn't it? Height. So 
we will write the opposite. Ali climbed over the low wall. In this way, you have to find out the opposite words and then answer these. Let's do the next meal. Choose the correct adjectives to complete these sentences. Here, the answers are given in the brackets, but you have two options. You have to take the you have to pick up the right one and then write in the blank in the blanks. Anu lives in a tall building. The tiger's cage is dash. It's large or thick. You have to write the correct answer. Yes, the tiger's cage is large. The tiny bug crawls up the wall. The huge elephant baths in the river. The boat crosses the wide river. There is a little water in the deep well. Next main, read the story, underline the adjectives of shape and size, circle the adjectives of color. Here, we have to pick up the adjectives but we have to underline the adjectives of shape and size and circle the adjectives of color. See children, I have already circled and circled the adjectives of color and underline the adjectives of shape and size. You have to do it in the same way. The last exercise, look at these pictures and the clues given. Find the correct adjectives in the word grid. Color these, color those boxes and write the adjectives in the spaces given. The first answer is given for you. Next, you have to find out from this word grid. You have to color these also. Okay, thank you.